Hey everyone. So, when you think of the word Garuda Linux, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Is it bloat? Is it, wow, this thing has more makeup than things with makeup? Is it good grief? This is such a nice Linux distribution, but why on earth does it include everything under the sun? Or do you feel like that you possibly might uh, go insane looking at all of the colors and the themes? Maybe you want to get rid of Linux, but you don't want all that extra eye candy that comes with it. Well, not everyone knows, but there is a version of Garuda Linux for you. And if you go to the downloads page, yes, I'm showing you the downloads page. Uh, if you don't want to see the website, feel free to skip a bit on the video. Uh, if you go all the way close to the bottom on the download page, there is the Garuda Linux KDE Lite Edition. And what is that? Well, that is Garuda Linux without all the eye candy and some of the bloat removed. And that's what we're gonna look at today. And here we are. So when you immediately load it, the first thing you get greeted with is the Garuda Welcome, which is some decent tooling, but you'll immediately notice there's a lack of an overwhelming amount of bloat and uh, eye candy. So, as you'll see here, by default, it uh, uses KDE. And what we're going to do is we'll do a quick installation and then take a look at this edition. So this is just a normal Calamari installer. So I'm just going to run through this. I'm just going to just swap with Hibernate. I'm going to do next. What's my name? Well, my name's Gosh, as always. And I'm going to call it Gerudo install and an extremely strong password. We'll use the same password as admin and install. We'll install it now. Oh, let this uh, have its quick run and then we'll take a look. Okay, that was uh, quite quick. So let's do a quick restart. Okay, let's log in. Okay, and of course, immediately, as you'll see here, it's basically like the normal Garuda uh, installation. You know, now when we're going to hit OK, it's going to install updates and it's going to do all sorts of, of stuff. Um, so if we were to hit OK, type in our credentials. As you'll see here, it all import its PGP key, update the keys, and let it go on its merry way. So while that uh, does what it wants to do in the background, I'm going to show you here. So immediately, the one thing is what they did here. They took the term no bloat to a whole new level. And why on earth do I say that? Well, because of this. If you check here under development tools, you'll see here that the text editor they've included is micro. Right. A couple of QT designer interface applications. And uh, there's a mistake, as you see here, there's no web browser. That's right, on the internet, not even a web browser. No default Firefox, Chromium, nothing. And the multimedia, nothing. Okay, there's QT video test and capture devices, but for the average person, that doesn't count. Settings, it's literally only three items in the settings menu. System, of course, the uh, assistant uh, applications by Garuda. Of course, you need a farm manager. And, you, of course, you also would need a process viewer console for terminal. And uh, the rest is the default tools. And utilities, again, Arc and Micro. That's right. Absolutely minimalistic going on here. So this is just busy uh, doing this quick update in the background. If I do a near fetch here, they don't even have near fetch pre-installed. Right, if I do HTOP, you'll actually see here that out of the box, with this cut down, and it being KDE, is really decent, only running just over a gig of memory. Doesn't even need any swap space, and CPU usage is pretty low. And of course, if you're wondering, what is this thing doing? Well, it's of course busy getting updates. So, 
moving further around in the system, if we even just look at the quick settings here and the appearance, you'll see here no other default themes are even installed. You would have to do all that customization here yourself. So this is really pretty lightweight. They have included their wallpapers at least there, so you know, there we go, some wallpaper. And if you like me and you want a dark theme, so your eyes don't uh, explode into fire, here you go. Really quick and straight out of the box. So one of the things you'd have to do here, of course, is finish the updates and then go ahead and choose your software. So what I'll do is I'll let it finish to its updates and then we'll pick a couple of items of software that we'll use for our minimal install. So bear in mind you want a lean, mean fighting arch-based machine. After you do the initial update portion, the setup assistant comes up again. And of course asking do we want printer, scanner and Samba support. So uh, unless you live in a world where you don't need a printer or a scanner, or we don't need to share files, take that. Input here, additional fonts. Uh, if that's applicable to you, do that. And because this, of course, is so uh, bloatless, it doesn't even have a package manager, you can choose a software manager here. Uh, in this case, I'll use Octopi, just uh, because it's QT based and it looks pretty nicely. The rest of it, you can choose what kernel you want. So you've got your LTS option, always good fail safe, improved security with hardened. Uh, a bunch of them for the AMD Zen architecture and the mainline. So of course you would use mainline and that's just the normal kernel coming out if you've got really, really new hardware and you need it to really be supported right now. And an office suite. So I'm just going to pick any office suite really. I'll choose free office for this. Um, why am I not using LibreOffice? It's because of something different. Uh, web browsers. You could use Fire Dragon, which of course is Kahuta's own uh, fork of LibreWolf, which of course is a fork of Firefox. So in this case, let's just use the original email. I'm not going to choose communication. I'm not going to choose. And of course, you can see here internet, audio, etc. So you would just go make your options here. Uh, I must install them. And Emacs. And uh, why both? Because surprisingly, some people use both. I'm going to hit OK. Type in my strong password that no one will ever guess. And it will install the packages. Give it a couple of seconds to retrieve them. And of course, you add it onto the system. So with the Garuda's installer, you of course first get this thing updated. And so your additional software and you've got a system set up for the way you want it so who's gonna who's going to use the kde light edition well basically if you want uh, the power of arch and you like a rudest tool tooling but you hate the bloat and the eye candy makes you want to put a fork in your eye then uh, rather use this edition it's as close as to vanilla arch with additional tooling as you're going to get and if you swap out the kernel from the Zen to the mainline kernel, you've got pretty much as close to normal Arch. Uh, folks, uh, do you use this edition of Garuda? Do you use another edition of Garuda? Um, leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.